I designed my own carburetor plate as a 3D model using Autodesk's Fusion 360 software. I did this for a couple of reasons. First is that I wanted the profile of the plate to be as low as possible to keep the carburetors from sticking way out of the hood. And second, I didn't want to buy a modern carburetor plate that had somebody else's logo on it. The final application for this blower is going to be on a vintage gasser, so I'm trying to keep everything looking period correct for about the mid-1960s. Because I had to profile the outside of the plate and also bore and drill a bunch of holes in the middle of the plate, I needed to have two setups. The first setup was on a set of standoffs that were clamped to the mill table that I screwed the plate to. One limitation of being able to screw a plate to a set of standoffs like this is you have to be able to put screws either in a location that's going to already be there in the finished part or in an area that's going to be machined out while you're making the part. I chose to put my hold down screws right through the venturis that were innermost on the plate. Because I only had one piece of magnesium to work with, I had to start out by using a piece of 3 quarter inch MDF or medium density fiberboard to do a couple of test copies of this plate to make sure that I had all the machining operations right and that I didn't have any mistakes in the dimensions. I left two operations as manual operations after the automatic machining. The first was chamfering the holes that hold the plate to the blower case, and the second was the finished tapping of the holes that hold the carburetors to the plate. After I was done with a good copy of the plate in the MDF, I did a countersink of the holes and then I drilled and tapped the carburetor holes and actually installed the wood plate on top of the blower case to make sure everything fit okay. After running a good copy of the part in MDF, I grabbed my piece of magnesium stock, which you can see is really grubby from sitting on the shelf for about 25 years, and then ran a fly cutter across it to surface it and make it clean again. After that I was able to set up my good piece of magnesium onto the standoffs and do all the machining operations on it. Fortunately I had no errors.
In the end, the magnesium plate fit on the top of the blower case perfectly, giving it a nice vintage look without allowing the carburetors to stick up too far in the air.